in the previous sessions, I determined the early start time phase budget and cumulative budget for this simple project. In this session, I will calculate the late start position for the same project. I will look into the actual or the planned start position of the activities. That will be the plan how we will execute it. It will depend on the actual start and finish date of the activities that we obtained after resource smoothing or leveling. And we will look at those graphs and see what we obtain as information. At the last part, I will identify and define the critical path definition or the critical path position of the project. So, here you see early start, the Gantt chart which corresponds with the early start, that's the Gantt chart we completed in the previous session. The Gantt chart on the bottom is the late start Gantt chart and we see that activities B, D and E have been moved to their late start position. The activities A, C and F we did not move because they are in fact on the critical path and the critical path tasks or activities if we move or extend them the duration of the project will change. So here we are the case of resources smoothing. The time phase budget is different as you can see already the first period is different also with the cumulative budget. Nevertheless in period 10 at the end of the project we see that the cost of the project in both cases is the same. This is logical we only moved the activities we didn't change anything so the total cost of the project should always be the same. Let's have a look how it looks in a graph. We have on the left hand side the early start position, the S-curve in early start and on the right hand side the two graphs in late start position. It's easy to see that there are some differences but it will be better to have that information combined in one graph and here we have the early start and cumulative budget or the S-curve for this project. The orange curve is the early start and the blue curve is the late start. We see that the starting point is not the same. This is because we had tasks A and B who could start at the beginning of the project but B is not critical, so we moved B away, so the cost of B will be uh, later. What we see on the blue curve is in fact that when we move the activities to the late start position, that the cash flow for the project is also different. We will need the money later. This may have a positive effect on your business case because you only need the money or you will only use the money when you need it. Now this is the early start late start position. We still have to go a step further. Let's have a look what happened after smoothing and what it did to the Gantt chart. This is the plan start PS plan start and we see B. We move B to the late start position, you see it in yellow, D I did not change and E I moved to the late start position also. Now we can see on the bottom the cumulative budget curves for early start, late start and actual start. So the top early start, all, the th all three of them 80 at the end which is always a very good control and we see that there are some differences between the actual start or the planned start, early start and late start. 
in this table it's not so easy to see. It will be a lot clearer when we identify this in the combined graph. And here we find the gray curve, which is the planned start position. This is the actual budget curve that we will have on the project. We see that it coincides with the blue curve in period one and two. It means that in that period, there are two critical paths. There is no flexibility. On the gray part from activity two till five, we see that it's between the orange and the blue one. And that's what we mean with the critical path position. The closer the gray line is to the orange line, it means that it has more flexibility. The money will be spent earlier, but there is more slack, there is more flexibility. When the gray curve moves closer to the late start position, or the blue curve in this case, the flexibility reduces. On the periods 5 till 10, everything is critical, and we already could see that in the graph because there was only one activity, activity F, which was an activity on the critical path. This gives you the information about the calculation of the early start, late start position, the critical path position of the project, and we will apply this in a more complex exercise, so be ready to do the exercise, get the materials there. We will go through it step by step and you can download the information also from the course. It will help you to complete this exercise. Great job. See you in the next session.